It's been a good while since I made a video talking about all the new features that are coming to Blender, but Blender 3.3 is packing a lot of really interesting and exciting features that I've been wanting to talk about, so here's a list of 5 of my favourite new features coming to Blender at the start of September. First up, we're getting a whole new hair system. Blender's old hair particle system hasn't been updated for a very long time and it was due a big overhaul. The new system is built around curves, which makes it faster, more performant and more flexible. To add this sort of system, you just need to select a target mesh, then in the create menu, go to curves and choose either the empty or the random hair curve from the list. Now, if you move over to the sculpting workspace, we have access to a whole new suite of tools to groom the hair. We've got some familiar tools like we had with the old hair particle system, but we've also got some new ones like the snake brush tool. This works much like the snake brush tool does in regular sculpting, where it will extrude and shape at the same time. The Blender team are working on this new hair system to help with the production of their new open movie, Project Heist. That's the Blender Animation Studio's first attempt at realistic characters, and so far they seem to be producing some fantastic work. Now one great benefit of using curves for hair is the fact that we can manipulate them using all the current curve tools, including geometry nodes. Now the old hair system was pretty bloated and confusing when it came to adding details to the hair such as waves or kink, so hopefully the new geometry node system will be much easier and more flexible to use. Next up, we have a new feature in the motion tracking suite which looks very interesting. It's called the image from plane marker operator. Now it's really common in visual effects to track a flat plane such as a billboard in order to change the image in the original video. The old system for doing this in Blender wasn't very straightforward, so this operator makes it much more seamless as a workflow. You just have to track the plane in the normal manner and then you run the new tool and it'll export the plane as an image. You can modify that image in an external program or in Blender and then pretty much your job is done. In this example, they've changed the graffiti on the wall, but you can also use this to change billboards, posters, signs, basically any flat surface. Performance improvements have been a big focus for the Blender team over the last year or so, and Blender 3.3 continues that trend with a bunch of performance hikes. The Grease Pencil Line Art tool is anywhere from 4 to 8 times faster. Data management has several improvements to reduce the times that it takes. They're doing this by deleting unnecessary information and changing the way that duplicate data gets renamed. The import tools for USD files, Alembic files and OBJ files have all been significantly improved, especially for very large files. One demo example file with over a quarter of a million objects used to take 3.5 hours to import, but now it just takes 1.5 minutes, so that's quite a speed up. The final performance improvement that's worth mentioning is the fact that EV now has PBVH draw support. Try saying that three times fast. Sculpting in any other mode than solid mode used to be really slow, so if you were trying to sculpt in EV, it would always have these horrible slowdowns. But now you can essentially sculpt in EV in real time. This is a massive performance upgrade and I've been using this a lot. The Cycles X project for Blender 3.0 was obviously a massive upgrade to the render engine's capabilities, but some people were understandably upset that Blender no longer supported some of their graphics cards. In fact, when Blender 3.0 was released, only a handful of non-NVIDIA cards were actually officially supported. Thankfully, the developers and some people at external vendors have been working really hard to make sure that Blender can support as many render devices as possible. So firstly, Blender 3.3 will officially support Intel's new Arc GPUs when they are launched, assuming that those cards do actually see the light of day sometime. Secondly, AMD support has increased too. Blender now supports GPU rendering with Vega series graphics cards such as the Radeon 7, the Radeon RX Vega series and the Radeon Pro WX9100. Apple devices are already fully supported via the Metal API, but there's been some optimizations to the code to make it run a little bit faster. Finally, we have a new feature which has been added to Blender that I've wanted to see implemented since I started using the damn program. It might seem like a little thing, but this is a huge quality of life improvement if you use Blender a lot. 
Whenever you add a curved mesh into Blender, you pretty much always have to set the shading to smooth in order to hide the edges between the flat polygons. Now this works okay, but it often creates this unnatural shading effect. Now if you want to know why this happens, you should watch my video called Change Your Understanding of Normals, but long story short, the only way to fix this issue is usually to go into the Object Properties panel, open up the Normal dropdown, and enable Auto Smooth. Being forced to do this for every single smooth shaded mesh is a real pain in the ass, especially when you're working on a large scene that has hundreds or thousands of meshes. I get really tired of doing this all the time. So thankfully, we finally have a feature in Blender which will enable us to shade smooth an object and turn on auto smooth at the same time. I have no idea why this feature took decades to implement. I'm just really glad that it's finally here. So those were my top five favorite new features coming to Blender 3.3, which is due to be released around the 7th of September. In case you missed the announcement, I have a community challenge going on right now with a chance to win an RTX 3090 Ti. I'll leave a link to the announcement video in the description of this video. Thanks for watching guys and take care.